What is going on, everybody? I guess I can take my sunglasses off now since I'm inside. But I just wanted to show y'all something today that I'm sure some of y'all have dealt with in the past. So I know the BE surface cleaners are pretty popular because they're about 300, 350 bucks. They're pretty affordable, fairly good product, but there is some issues with them. And I want to address those as well as show y'all how we go about fixing those. So two problems that we've had that we have out of the BE surface cleaners and we've had this one for about two, two and a half years, something like that. And it's got two issues with it. Well, really it's got about three issues, but the handle right here, if you look at it, this is loose. And then also right here in the middle, there's two rivets that go into it and hold this on. And this, has actually been coming off like this when we've been surface cleaning. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and fix these two problems today. The only other problem with this surface cleaner is we've actually got a crack right there. And what that's from is we were actually cleaning a dumpster pad and we ran over a gate lock and it made a huge spark, busted the top of it, but the surface cleaner still works fine. And something else I've noticed with this surface cleaner. So if we're surface cleaning with this, I have a tendency to turn it on its side just slightly, just ever so slightly. I'll tilt the left side of it up. And what that does is that helps to where it can spin faster and you can surface clean a little bit quicker. But over time, this is what's happened. If you look at the brush on the bottom of it, it's all worn out on that side. So it's longer on the left side, but since I tilt it that way, that side of the brush is completely gone. But that, that doesn't cause too big of an issue. The main things that we're gonna be addressing are the handle that's loose and this other section of the handle that's loose. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take our drill, uh, Phillips head self-tapping screws, and you want pretty short screws. You don't want really long screws because these they don't need to be very long. So we're gonna put uh, two self-tapping screws down here and then probably two to three self-tapping screws up here. So pretty simple, easy fix, but I just want to share it with y'all. So y'all stay tuned and I'll get all this stuff fixed up and back in working condition.
All right, so we got the handle back on, got it all secured down. Hope y'all can find some value in this video. So if y'all ever have this problem with the BE surface cleaner, just get you some self tapping screws and get it fastened up and it won't go anywhere on you. So hope y'all can find some value. Like I said, we'll catch y'all later, man.